In more local coverage right now, the city of Warwick being sued by families of two people who drowned at Connecticut Point two years ago. 12 News obtained the lawsuit last night, and Erica Ritchie joins us now live in studio with what it reveals. Erica. Well, guys, good morning. There are two separate lawsuits that were filed in Providence Superior Court on Friday, each detailing the tragic accounts of this day back in June of 2021. That's when 10 year old Yos Carly Martinez was swept off the sandbar here at Connecticut Point in Warwick and a good Samaritan, Valentin Cardona Sanchez, went in to try and help. Both of them ended up drowning. Now, the lawsuit each say that the city of Warwick's notice and failure to act constituted a willful and or malicious failure to warn and or guard against the the dangerous conditions at Connecticut Point Park. At the time of the tragedy in 2021, there were signs near the beach warning about the dangers. You see them here on your screen. But the lawsuit points to four other drownings between 1998 and 2019, suggesting those signs were just not enough. In the weeks after the 2021 incident, additional larger signs like the ones you see here were posted at the beach in English and Spanish. But still, this past July 13th, a 28 year old East Greenwich woman drowned off the sandbar. So just just last week, Mayor Frank Bacosi announced a new warning system at Connecticut Point with an alarm, flashing lights, and a warning in multiple languages that'll go off when conditions are dangerous there. He made that announcement last week, and he did so in light of the 2021 tragedies. I was with the Scarley's family uh, when her body was recovered, and they went to an identifier, and it's an image I'll never forget. It keeps me awake at night, and I know if we had this system in place, that tragedy would not have happened. And we did ask the mayor about the lawsuit, but he said he could not comment on it because it's a legal matter. That's the latest live in studio. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.